Okay, we're live. We'll see how it how it goes. How it takes a minute for people to hear it or to get the notification rather. Alright, top live chat, not top chat. That's so annoying I'm to push that every time. But anyway, can't really complain, I guess. YouTube is free. It's awesome that it's free. Because I probably couldn't afford it. Um, I think we should be complaining too much about something that's free. Hey, yes you are. Hello, Sean. How are you, my, my son? What time is it in the UK? Is the sound okay? Six a.m. Oh, that's not too bad, I guess. Well, two twenty. Oh yeah, because it's ten twenty-six here. I was trying to start at ten, but I didn't quite make it home at ten. There's always something extra to do when I leave the job. You know, when I'm thinking I get to walk out, there's always something. And tonight I had to fight the wind to get the big gate closed. The wind was blowing so hard. You did? You Wait, you redid the poem? <laughs> so you, uh, you edited the poem? I'd like to hear your version. T worded it. What's that mean? T worded. Oh, re. Well, that ought to be interesting. Yeah, that I would be very interesting to hear. So you're gonna try to you're gonna try to read it. Hello, Casey. Yeah, I'm okay. I got home later than I planned on though. Man, there's some crazy stuff going on. The skies are nuts. You can see the energy and you can feel the evilness. So, uh, Sean, what's the weather like in the UK today? Yeah, I do work too much for a little teeny bit of money, too. It's really sad. <laughs> really sad. I'm a little upset I can't go see my grandson this weekend for his birthday. I'm going to try to make it sometime next week if I can get the tires for my car. But uh, anyway... He's so adorable and he's so smart. And one day he got off the phone with me and he told his mama, he's like, Mama, I love Jesus too. Cause you know, I wear these, I love Jesus hats and Team Jesus shirts and, and all that. And he's like, Mama, I love Jesus too. Good evening, you're on the air. Hey, Judy. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? John. All right. How are you? I, I didn't know you were already on the air. Um, yeah, I just got home from work, so it was a little later than I thought. I tried to call you a couple times prior to that because uh, you had said if uh, 
if I, myself, or uh, Casey or Boost Boost could call you prior to the show, well, I don't know if Boost Boost was trying to get a hold of you or not via email or whatever, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I just got here, so... And it was so late, so I went ahead and just started the show. Because... Right, I was, right? Yeah, I was trying to uh, start the show at 10, but... Anyway... I was supposed to be able to leave work at 9, but uh, I had to leave later than that. Right. Looks like you work at, looks like you work at Fort Knox with all the keys you have to turn <laughs> to oh, <laughs> get out of there. That, well, no, that's the stadium lights and the parking lot lights and uh, stuff like that. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we cut, was, cut those on and off. Right, I hear you. Uh, what were you wanting to talk to us about? Can you talk about it on the air okay? Or No, no. It was uh, more uh, something I didn't want to discuss over the air quite yet. Okay. Just uh, some some ideas and some concerns and whatnot. And wanted to work on uh, trying to make something uh, better. But like I said, I, I, you know, I definitely don't want to do that on the air. Right, no, I hear you. Yeah. Um, actually, I, I tried to call you uh, in a three-way, you know, with Casey on the line and myself, and I let it ring about 15 times, and you probably weren't home quite yet, so... Um, yeah, I definitely wasn't. I just walked in. Right, well, we'd be glad to, we'd be glad to talk to you, because that, that's all we're really wanting to do, dude, is try to help you build your build your channel you know anything yeah, that we can help help do would be uh you know would be good yeah i appreciate it really i don't know is, uh, is there anybody in the chat right now uh sean's there i hear you yeah we can, we, we can do it another time i mean it's not it's not imperative that we do it that we just you know talk about it right now Right. Okay. That's, that's, I, like that's I said, fine. I thought, I thought my time in was going to be a little better, you know, but it wasn't. So I should know that by now. I really should. <laughs> right. Well, I didn't get a notification. I don't think that uh, Casey did tonight either. Uh, really? No, I was still waiting for it. Hmm. How did your day go today? Mm, it was okay. It was all right. You got right. a notification, Casey? I know some people said it took them like 15 minutes to get them last night. So, I don't know. I guess it depends on where you're at in the world and which satellite is bouncing off of and, you know. Both times? Oh, okay. Cool. So, um... What did I miss in the news today besides that me that huge meteor that struck over in the ocean near Russia three months ago, and they're just now announcing it? Well, I had heard something about a uh, meteor that struck over there. I thought this, this must, must be, be something, something different. different huh? Why? When, when's the one you heard? Um... I think, I thought it was down near Crimea or something, that's in that area, was it, what, what did they tell me where it was? Yeah, that wasn't it, what you just okay. said, I think it was somewhere else. Um, anyway, apparently, um, the, uh, Air Force seen it, or, I think they said the Air Force seen it. And they told NASA, and they were keeping data on it and stuff, and apparently it just, you know, got released, and it was huge. It was a huge meteorite that hit the ocean. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I've been saying that all along for the last few years, because I see so many meteors now, and I didn't used to see them, you know? I'm going to tell you, all my life, I have never seen the things that I have seen in the last three years, but I have never seen meteors every day like I see now. And, of course, they're small ones, you know, but every right. day. Which means we're definitely in a debris field. And uh, and God's throwing them stars down like he said he would, you know. Um, 
But like I was telling somebody, you know, 70% of the earth is water. So 70% of them fireballs is probably going in the water and we don't even know about them. You know? Sure. And that was a big one. So I guess if they could have kept us from knowing about that, they would have. Well, I'm wondering, you know, they're saying when they hit the water like that, that they're going to cause a huge tidal wave tonight. Hmm. So did it cause any damage or don't know? Uh, I don't know. I was kind of trying to listen to it while I was driving home. I don't think. I mean, I'm sure it raised the water some, and I'm sure it caused some waves, and I'm sure it heated up the water drastically. There's uh, some people that are saying that uh, Planet Nibiru is uh, is in our atmosphere. I don't know if that's that's probably not true because based on what everybody else is talking about. But um, that tail is supposedly a couple million miles in length. Can you imagine what we're going to get pummeled with? Well, you never know. God can protect us. Well, I mean, if he changes his mind on scripture, then yeah. Um, the, uh, the, um, you know, we got the Astro Belt, we got the Fermi Bubbles, and see, nobody ever talks about the Fermi Bubbles. Do y'all know what the, right. the Fermi Bubbles are? Yes, yeah. and the Kuiper Belt. belt. No, the Fermi bubbles are, that's some strange stuff there. It's beautiful, but it's strange. And uh, right. they, they just discovered it like eight, nine years ago. And that they, well, they, they don't know what they are. Right. But, but it's surrounding a galaxy. Well, you know, that might be how God's coming in. We know God's energy, you know? Right. And that might be how him and the uh, the warrior angels are coming in to fight Satan. Or, the, you know, I'm, I think they're already there fighting. I think that's part of what we see in the sky. Yeah, but it's not spelled, it's spelled um, like that. <laughs> I'm gonna try to send those pictures to you, uh, to you uh, the moon that I took last night, but uh, off of that, there's um, there's these uh, beams of light coming off of this thing. Um, one of the callers, I think it was Daryl from Washington, had called into my show and was talking about the um, the way this thing is set up is like two pyramids, you know, on the moon. And if it does, it, it kind of looks, it kind of looks like that, you know, it's a shape, in the shape of it, because it's got a V coming off both sides of the moon, up on the, like the one o'clock and the three o'clock position, and then once again about the seven o'clock to the nine o'clock position. But it's, it's pretty, it's pretty neat to, the, the picture, if you blow it up, you know, and just expand on it. Uh, I'll zoom in on, you can really see those uh, light beams coming off the moon. It's, yeah, Jeff did, you send, it, did you send it to my email? No, I didn't send it to you yet. Um, oh. I'm, I'm not all that computer savvy, you know, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to try to do it. I can do it in the form of a text message, but I don't know how to do it. I can do it a lot easier as a text than I can as, um, as an email. So I'm going to try to see if I can uh, transfer it to my email and then put it on my email over over to your email did you put it on your channel no uh -uh. no i haven't done anything with it yet i just sent them to casey last night um i went out and and, and took the pictures and I, I had wanted her to to forward them on to you but oh, yeah, because she, uh she knows how to email 
She does. Judy, she's just a little bit afraid about putting her email out there because of everything that's happened as of lately. I hope you can respect that. I, I do. I respect it, you know. And, you know, um, I don't want to say she's terrified, but, you know, she's just a, such a sweet young lady, you know, and um, she, she, all she wants to do is try to help people, you know, and, and, she wants to do she wants to do the Lord's work, you know, and she wanted wants to kind of be a watchman for the Lord, you know. And I and I respect and I respect I respect that, you know. But I I will um I will try to do whatever you know whatever I can. Uh, I'll try to send those possibly over to, to you tomorrow. They're okay. pretty pretty neat to see it. And how's Sean doing? Because I I'm not even in the. Uh, I'm not even in the chat. I'm just talking to you on my phone without seeing what's going on in the chat. He's fine. He uh, he was the first one in. He's like, I'm the first. <laughs> I'm just here now, too. Oh, that's good. That's good. They're talking about Lulu. Well, listen, how awesome Lulu is. Oh. Yeah, she is a good, she's a good lady. There's yeah, no doubt is. about it. Yeah. Oh, I hope she's fair and okay with that, uh, I know they got, an, they got another one coming. They got two hitting at the same time. Um, uh, Trevor that that went off the coast is bouncing back on the coast and hitting them again. And now they got uh, Victoria or whatever. It's a V uh, hitting them too. I don't know if it's in her area, but they're you know Australia's getting hit by two cyclones at once. Wow. We're going to start seeing more and more of these, uh, the frequency, just the storms and the uh, earthquakes and the volcanoes and everything. I think I've seen there was 40 volcanoes all going off, major volcanoes all going off at the same time. Um, I think I've seen that on the internet either today or yesterday. Yeah, and, um, you know, more and more fireballs falling from the sky. Uh yeah, everything. Uh, straight line winds are going to be killing people. Lightning. Yeah, it's all just going to get worse and worse. We're going to see a lot more animals die. Unfortunately. No doubt about it. Yeah. Well, I don't know if Spencer wants to call in or not, but if he does, I'll, I'll get off the uh, phone and let, let him get call in to you because I think he was trying the other night. Oh, I think, yeah. Well, uh, he was trying... Skype was acting up. Right, uh-huh. If he wants yeah. to try to call in and do it, you want to try to do a three-way, and then I'll just bow out, but just if you want to see if you could uh, get it to work. Yeah, uh, let's, I don't know let's, do, let's do that. Vince, you want to try to call in? <laughs> Judy, what is this? What's what? he say? Uh, he said, let's. You know, he's been asking for a three-way, so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he would like a three-way. Yeah. Uh, what is that stadium? That, uh, is that where you actually work at, Judy? Yeah. Is that the uh, major stadium up there? In, uh... No, it's not major. It's local. I hear you. What is it, Baseball? It's, it's football, soccer, field hockey. We got there's more than one field over there. I'm trying to answer it. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, you're on the air. Well, hello, hello, hello. Oh, what am I going to get? A, what am I going to get an echo here? I, no, I turned mine off, so oh. you should have no echo. But uh, oh. how's the three-way? We still have three people. John, are you still there? John? Did we lose uh -oh. John? Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know what? No. I'm... That is not a successful three-way. That is Just not. A... You know. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have the third person. <laughs> yeah, I want I need to look at this. I probably need to um I probably need to. Why is showing me? 
I know on the other one, on the other version, I did it and it was okay. Um, you just have to, you just really have to ask someone that's done it. And uh, they just say, you know, put that one on hold, grab that one, and make the other one go live or whatever the feature is. Yeah. You're going to have to ask somebody. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Mike's, Mike's done it during the daytime only, never during a nighttime show. So he knows how to do it. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it... I know with the other Skype version, it um, it has a way to... to well, it, probably this one too, but right now the whole thing's not even showing up for me, the screen. It's like... Um, they update that every week or something. I mean, Mike has major issues with it. It's like, oh, look, there's another update, and then we have trouble all night. It's like you almost want to say not now or not ever and, and just get through your show and then, then take the update. <laughs> Seems like it's massive. Um, how many times he's had to go through that in the last three months is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, like last night I was trying to, I ended up running both versions uh, of it, trying to get it to work. And yeah, because like yeah, no, one, it's, it's got to be frustrating. Yeah, the other I one had was, like seven laptops at least just in front of me, and I don't even know which one I'm talking to you right now. It's got a screen on the wall, and <laughs> uh, I've got a mouse and a bit of Bluetooth in my ear. Right. But how does it sound? It's, it sounds <laughs> fine. How was your day? It was all right. <laughs> it was work. So you worked on Sunday. So, like, do you work seven days a week? Or are you on call? Or can we describe uh, what Judy goes through each day? Huh. Right now, I'm working uh, six days a week. And six I ended up... Days of, a week. Well, take that back, because last time I ended Jeez. up working, like, 11 days straight. But, um... And your government takes, what, about a third? Uh, roughly, <laughs> of every move you make, they they take every dime you make when you're poor. <laughs> yeah, where do you live? And they tax your garbage on the way out. Oh, oh my they god, tax, they tax everything. We got to get out of the system, Judy. We got to get out. Yeah, I think it's all one way for the government, don't you? <laughs> well. I mean, the government's <laughs> got to have money, you know. They got to do the roads. They got to be able to. Have oh traffic. yeah, they're they fixing have the my roads. Traffic lights working. The school system. Oh working. yeah, I fixed those. I used to actually for five years, but um, yeah, that's a big dollar. Sanitation expense. and clean water. Bullshit. No way, well, Judy. We gotta get out. Let's get out of the if big we, city. Let's we, just retire it, already, Judy. If we send it Judy, we paid our dues. If we send it to private industry, as as greedy as people are and as backstabbing as people are, Judy, are we not ready for retirement? Can we just look out of the out of the lake each day and see the sun come up and the sun go down, and realize the weather's going to be screwed? And we and just not care. Can we not just be retired? I, I think I we've earned know. it. I'll Don't never, you? I'll never be able to retire. That's what I said to myself actually last year. I said, actually, I, I'm on a freedom death plan when I'm doing things right now. So I turned it around in a year. And uh, I'm really making a move in a different direction to just leave the city and cash out while the, the price is high. And actually, you can live like a king uh, with, a, with a much bigger house <laughs> in a much better area. A lot less people. Right. You don't want to be around the masses when stuff happens. I'll just say that. I don't even want to describe what could happen. If you're around a million people within a couple thousand miles, when the, when the real trouble hits, how that could be. Well, how many people live in the nearest large um, metropolis where you are? Um, I guess we have about two million yeah. Okay. Well, that's a fair amount. I mean, uh, that that would cover the entire north in my area, and then some, and then most part of the south, which is half the size of the states. Canada's huge, by the way. Uh, land mass wise, it's just huge. And we have no people. We have the population in New York, in an entire country bigger than yours. So there's no people here. 
you go out in the in the north and you're you're taking a walk just out in the wilderness and um it may be someone's never been there and it's a good chance they've never been there it's just very unpopulated here but it's so beautiful hard to leave yeah. i know i, I know the weather's gonna get worse but i bet it's clean and beautiful <coughs> pristine it is it is it is like the lake north of me where i had a resort for 11 years um it's i think about 700 feet deep but no, no rivers flow in and it's got 13 million springs underneath it and it feeds lake superior it's the main source of the water for the biggest great lake and uh, it's the most pristine water. The, the fish aren't even the same. Um, they're red right through. Um, they've tried to stock them in other lakes. They won't take. They want 100% pristine fish to, just to survive. And uh, it's an amazing country. I think uh, when I had the resort uh, on Lake Nipigon, I think I had over 100,000 U.S. Uh, we didn't care for any Canadians, Ken. It was just a, pretty much a U.S. place to fly to. It was amazing. Uh, everybody's on vacation. How can you piss somebody off? It's off for two weeks. Uh, it's, a, it's the best job in the world to have a resort. They're all on vacation. Yeah. Yeah, we see a I lot. Miss of, we see a lot of vacationers here. Yeah, yeah, like, it's pretty hard to piss those people off when you have a resort. They're coming there for the, to do their little fish, their dance, or their hunt. And uh, you just got to be yourself, but they want to spend all their time with you and learn all everything you know about the area and well, how to fish and what to do. And, and you have, like, 14 cabins. You have, like, 300 people. And, oh, my God. I miss it, actually. But I did it too young. I, I bought that place when I was 25 years old. It's like four million dollars or something. <clears throat> yeah. I think we sold it for eight, but um, I, I took a loss actually myself. Did you? Why did you, put, you put more than four million in it? Yeah, yeah, I, I did, and um, I took it on family as partners. That was my mistake. <laughs> yeah. You never, never. And they did it to me again. I just, the house I'm in, my sister's talking to me in the mind. <laughs> said, oh, you can do that. You know, you're special. You can do that. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be happy if you could do that for us. <laughs> I put my parents home. I had left here for 35 years. I was kicked out at 17 uh, and came back to buy uh, the original home I was born. Wow. But uh, the property was unrefusable. 10 acres in town. It's worth a fortune. But, uh, how's Judy tonight? I'm okay. Getting tired? Not yet. Are you ready to, are you ready to do a three-way? Let's see what Casey's voice is like. Have you well, made an adjustment? We lost, uh, John when we tried that. Right. Um, well, we'll try someone else in. Did you know what you did wrong, or is there well, another right, thing you could try? Right now, I would have to reboot the Skype because the rest of the screen's not even showing up. Oh, on my end, uh, I bet your regular stuff going on here. Yeah, Oops, but good. Not, on, not on my end. It all went away. I just had this little... This uh, it's like a crash, eh? Yeah, so like... I, okay, you I'll boot off, off and we'll boot back up. I'll boot off and we'll boot back up. Trial and error, Judy. We're going to yeah. get it. Yeah. Call you right back. All right. Reboot. <laughs> All right. Now there it is. There's the window I need to see. Uh, looks like it placed him on hold. John, are you still there? John? That's what it did. It placed John on hold. That's why it went away. So let me look at... That's why that was popping up like that. Because it automatically put him on hold when I answered, I guess. So, let me see what I got to look at. Well, now the whole thing went away. 
Right, come back, Skype. So it's rebooting. I know, poor John. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. All I did was answer a call. I guess it automatically puts them on hold when you answer. But it didn't with the other version, so I don't I don't understand. <laughs> but the other version seems to bog the whole system down and then half the time you go to answer calls and uh it doesn't uh Um, I'm on reboot already. <laughs> You're so funny, Sean. Yeah, mean Judy. <laughs> That's what my sister used to call me. Well, because her um her kids would, you know, be acting up. And uh, she'd be tell she'd tell him, I'm gonna get mean Judy on you. I'm gonna get mean Judy on you. All right, it's not booted up yet, Vince. It's still booting. Wait a minute, maybe it's there. Okay, it's booted. Almost. There's documents broadcast it's still it still hasn't hung up from poor John that's crazy well now it won't let me hello hold on it's, it's not ready yet it won't let me answer hello no, that's still John's number hasn't hung up. Okay. That was crazy. I think that was John's. I don't know whose number that was. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, and how are you? <laughs> Just fine, and you? I'm back. So you got John on hold, roughly no, somewhere I, in cyberspace. Yeah, no, he finally disconnected. Oh, that's a good thing. You see, oh, there it is. Let me see. Um, I know on the other one, like if you start a chat, and then you can mm -hmm. put people's names in it and numbers like slide them over i think that's how you add them on this one i'm yep. not sure because this version is different let's see unless it's like on your your regular like your cell phone you know if you want to do a three-way call you have to call both parties uh yeah actually no I'm, i get i get conferenced in at work all the time I just hang up and then I hit block. I don't know if that's a good thing when you own a corporation, but uh, it's probably going to help me in many ways. <laughs> um, yeah, they start calling me. They want to do a five-way chat and I'm driving or I'm off a ladder fixing something dramatic. Uh, I don't know. Uh, they pay me an accessible amount of money, Judy. Yeah. You should you should come to Canada. You wouldn't have to do anything that you're doing now, and uh, just retire with me. What do you think? Come in. Uh huh. So, uh, if I buy a piece of property that has five extra lots, how much does it cost to build a tiny home? To build a what? A tiny home, like Shark's doing. Oh, it, I don't know, cause I don't know the prices of anything in your area. Ah, uh, well. It's it, a lot less. Uh, once totally you convert from American to Canadian, um, we have a peso. Uh, you just get a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, anybody has ever moved from the states here is just—it's just the payroll. The red carpet comes out because our money's not worth as much as yours. So, 
you, you have to upgrade from whatever you're used to. I know it's unfortunate, but yeah, moving from the States to Canada, you get that effect. Right. It's the reverse. It's the reverse. If I move from Canada to the States, it's going to cost me a fortune, right? Just on the exchange alone and the fact that everything's overpriced down there. Right. Yeah, so it works both ways. So when you go to upgrade, you move to a more rural area, rural area that just the payout is huge. Like you end up with twice the home but paid for and a nest egg to do whatever you want. And if you can make a new living that's way better than what you're doing, then uh, basically you retire. You work two days a week. I only work two days a week, Judy, I'll be honest with you. I took about two months off this winter and paid myself whatever I wanted to pay myself. So, yeah. Sorry. Well, yeah. you're blessed to have it that way. No, I, I did the other thing for 30 years where I did nine to five or whatever shift. Trust me, I didn't work shift work through the night, through the afternoons, through the morning for 12 years. Everybody's got to go through it. It's a definite experience. You know, it pretty much shortens your life forever. Uh, when you go through three a shift, a three shift program for work, that's got to be the hardest thing. Yeah. You show up for the six thirty one in the morning. That's the one I would want. And then, uh, but when you go in at eleven o'clock at night, you get to finish up at six in the morning. That shit sucked. The sun would come out, and you'd be like, Ah, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. You don't know what daylight is anymore. Working the three shift graveyard. Oh. I've worked them all. Yeah. And I've been working, exactly. I've been, I've, been both working, have. I've been working 44 years now. Yeah, no, Judy, it's time to get out. I definitely can find you a way out in a couple of weeks. When the time comes and you want to move and you just want to retire and you want to have what you have now, but much more. Like, let's move to Canada. I think I'm 40 miles from the border. It's not a big deal. Yeah. We'll find you a big. We'll find you a big place. <laughs> I don't need a big place. Well, I'm. I think I'm in a, like only like a 1,200 square footer right now. I mean, I'm used to probably 5,000. So uh, I've adapted. Yeah. Yeah. 5,000. But I'm. Five thousand is nice. I've been in some, you know, very nice. Yeah, homes. yeah. No, and I'm used but. to that. Like even where I used to entertain at the resort, I think it was a hundred by a hundred. Um, just yeah, door to door. I would have. It was pretty um, big. If I had a place that big, I definitely would. Uh, well, we bought a bar and we put it inside of the garage of a building that used to uh, run a sawmill. So uh, the bar was, I think, 35 feet long with glass doors. And uh, when you picked a brand of beer, it was amazing. Uh, God, I missed it, <laughs> You know, you're like 20, uh, you're like uh, Casey's age, but you own the world because you have 250 people in front of you and you're entertaining and, and you're just running your own company. Like at a young age, it was pretty cool. I miss it. I, I wish I did it when I was older, though, because uh, that's a good retirement job. So, what do you, any questions for me? Um, no, not not unless you got some. Uh, Come on. Some some news, some uh, stuff that happened in Canada. That uh. Well, my my part of my roof blew off today. Uh, that's not normal. It's uh, it's a level twelve roof. Uh, which means it's good for hail up to two inches. And a big piece flew off today, and I was a little concerned. Uh, I'm not going to fix it, because I know I have seven more layers underneath. But, um, God, to fly out my office window, and I see part of the uh, part of the unit that saves the ice slides from crushing you to death off the sheet metal roof. When it flew off today, I said, well... That's pretty much extreme because we built that to last forever right. and it's gone now. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I, don't, I don't know about the winds are coming pretty much to the east coast now that, that we just suffered. So somebody's in for it. New York City's supposed to get an 80-mile-an-hour wind. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it's going to go right throughout, though. Like it's like it's going to cover about like four states. All at once, the same time as the last big one about three weeks ago, uh, which was extreme. Transports were blowing right off the road. Like if they didn't have an empty, if they had an empty truck on the top of a the hill, they're gone. Pull yeah. the truck right through. Yeah, they're gone. That's unfortunate. Um, it was windy at work. I had trouble closing the the big gate because the wind kept blowing. I was trying to put the the lock. Are you, on it. When you're closing the big gate, means you're the last one to leave. You pretty much run that corporation. No, I don't run it, but, you know, I'm trusted with it when I'm there by myself. Ah. Any questions in the chat? Just bring it up. What do you want to know about Canada? How many beers have you had tonight, John? I mean, um, Spence, sorry. <laughs> uh, Bush Tallboys? Uh... I think I'm on about five, uh, oh. but uh, I self-medicated earlier with the new experiment. I was brewing. I couldn't even go to Mike's show last night because I had a brew going. I had like two distilleries running in my kitchen that if something went wrong would explode the entire building. So I had to watch those. <laughs> I couldn't really watch Mike's show. Yeah. Um, so I, shouldn't, I shouldn't really laugh about that, but um, it's a living. <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah. Like I had two stills running in my kitchen. I'm not kidding. So you sell you? And that's something. Uh, it's not beer, actually. Oh. It's making beer to you see. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and it's not for anyone else. It's just for myself and my own uh, use. But uh, yeah, that's what it was. It's so it's dangerous uh, when you're running pure alcohol through a, a flame. Uh, well, when it touches the flame, anyway. Gets to be extreme. So, yeah, I got two of them running. You're not supposed to do what, anything in the house, and I got two of them running in the kitchen. That's high tech, right? <laughs> no guess. issues so far. Though. I guess one day if we see a big explosion, the sky lights up over here in the United States. Oh, know, no, it'll of, never be that. It'll never his, be that big. His weed never lab. <laughs> 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 but it's all legal. Welcome to Canada. It's welcome to Canada. Yeah, it didn't do anything wrong. It didn't break one law. It was hard, hard to believe it. Casey said, have you uh, ever heard of the Polar Bear Club? I have. It's not the same as the Mile High Club, but I like it. <laughs> okay, I know what the Mile High Club is. What is the Polar Bear Oh, Club? Judy, don't tell me you know that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. The snow has um, decreased a thousandfold. I had 12 feet to 14 feet of snow at my door four days ago. I think I might have three feet now. That's, That's how fast awesome. the snow's going. The moon's looking awesome. I'm having, having a smoke. smoke. <laughs> how cold Any is it? Any How cold uh, is it? Uh, here, it's, it's, it's actually going to drop below zero, which is top this, which, which is what? 32 Fahrenheit for you? Tonight's going to drop below zero for the first time in like several days. And apparently we're going to have another snowstorm. But it won't be uh, anything worth even talking about because well, we have huge equipment here. Like, we're meant to go through. I don't even use a driveway some days when I can roll with a truck. Like, anywhere? Well, you know, I'm, well, I have 700 feet of frontage on my front, front property. I live in town. Well, nobody I know has that. So when, when I drive in, sometimes the driveway is so full of ice, I'm just trying to bring up the snow bank. I don't really care. You can sit there skidding all day on the old ice, or you can just drive up the snow. It's quite a lot easier. Not to, 
I'm, I'm looking, looking forward, forward to moving to the, country, the country and retiring. And uh, I, I think, think you would like that life too, Judy. Well, my daughter and grandkids are here, so unless I could get them to move with me. Well, if it's a smart move, uh, I think, yeah, I think that's the way to go. But it's your call. You need not want to go south. Uh, I'm not going south. I was going to go move south. I could go anywhere I want. I could just get a place in Australia and just do anything I want. But you know what? I've pretty much determined I'm staying here. It's so beautiful and uh, secure. I think when the event hits, this is not a bad place to be. But that's my opinion. I would never try and drag someone into that. Higher ground would be even better. Uh, I'm at 56, 560 meters above sea level here. Yeah, I think that's what John just typed in the room. Well, Mike and I are at the same thing. He's in the upper Andrax. Like, you travel up from New York, mm-hmm. way up high, to, to where Mike is. And we're within a couple of meters of each other in height. But I'm seven lakes ahead of him, which he's downstream from. So gravity, or whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm at the beginning of the lakes. He's at the other end, so... There's never a massive flooding of any kind. Uh, he won't have neighbors, but I think he's safe. <laughs> it's the Great Lakes for a reason. They call it Great Lakes. Uh, 70 feet. We're in Lakes 2,000 feet either. Yeah. It's, it's hard, hard to find a part of the ocean, ocean that's 2,000 feet deep, but... Uh, no, you, you can find parts that are 7,000 miles deep, or 7 miles deep, but you know what? We have a lake where it's right by front door that's 2,000 feet deep, but it's fresh water. That's, that's pretty big, pretty, pretty big water. In fact, the weather, you wouldn't believe. It's like 40 degrees warmer here than my sister. She lives about 40 kilometers out. The big, big fresh water lakes affect us just like an ocean lake. Yeah. Okay, I haven't watched the chat for a while. I don't have a smoke. Uh, that's a mile, John. Uh, I'm just looking way back at John's comment of uh, a mile of sea level. So you want to be around uh, probably, well, Mile High City, of course, Denver. And then you want to go back up to uh, Colorado. I don't think anybody wants and, to And that's actually, actually that very area. safe. And people have say, uh, people have survived from there to continue what we're doing right now today. Um, this happens, I think it's a cycle that happens about every 12,000 years. And um, we're new. And we're going to get recycled within, well, Judy and you, <laughs> you and I, we're at the age now. When the recycling comes, we can just look out and say, wow, I got to see it. <laughs> you know, um, that's all I can hope for, because I'll be 80 and 50 now uh, when the recycle actually happens. Um, that's a lot of years. i probably die way before that and hit by a bus. How are you going to get hit by a bus out there in the wilderness? <laughs> well, no, I have a city bus. I live like down, like like downtown. Buffalo or whatever you got that roaming, roaming around. No, 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 no. I live uh, on the edge of a 100,000 population city, which is the most corrupt and violent place you've ever lived. It's worse than Detroit a thousand fold. Bodies go missing and stuff. It, it's not a it's not a good place to be, but I'm on the edge of it, and I have ten acres in the town of it, which nobody uh, that I know has ten acres in town, uh, in this town anyway. So it's, it's fun to cash out. So you think so? Oh yeah, I'm cashing out in three months. No, there's no spiders here. And snakes is too cold to survive. Um, someone's typing. Judy, are you typing like you're, you're just finger hell 
hammering those babies or what? <laughs> well, it's a laptop. And I can hear you, hammer. That's because it's a laptop, and the only thing I have is the speaker on the laptop. So yeah, you're gonna hear my typing. Hmm. No problem. I think I have a Bluetooth keyboard I'm running off of one of these. So. Uh, spider or snake? Thank you. Good. Machete will sort out any spider or snake. Yeah, true. Very true. Uh, you don't need much up here. Uh, I have to fight off a bear once a year. It doesn't matter if it's spring or fall. For your life. You, you wake up in the morning. You think it's going to be a normal day. But you fight for your life with a bear in your face. And uh, he's a lot bigger than you. And he eats your vehicle sometimes. I've had four vehicles wrecked by bear. But uh, somehow I got through. <laughs> we had a bear at work. What kind of bear? Like a black bear? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to see the black bear up here. <laughs> Um, some of them are 900 pounds. <laughs> well, <Wow. laughs> the ones on my wall are, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> they're about 900 pounds. They're not, uh, between here and Kenora, the biggest black bear in the world. And then you have to go to a brown bear, like, which is on the, uh, west coast. Or, uh, or on the east coast. And they've hunted those to extinction, so they don't exist. But I probably have black bear from where I'm living right now in town, I have three living on my property. I know this for a fact. Um, they come down here and wake up every spring, cause my havoc, and they come back here every fall. So I have a, a river piece of property with many caves and nooks and crannies. I think they're just pretty much bedding down right in there. Right. So, Judy, what is going to be the end of us in your your theory? Oops. Um, what will what will be the end? Well, the end for a lot of people is going to be different different scenarios. There's a bunch of things that are going okay. to happen, but um, uh, it, in one time frame. Best best case scenario. Best case scenario, we die. And we, we 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 will not die because Jesus says we're asleep. We uh, pass ah. on in our sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it happens when we're sleeping. You know what? I, I'm all in for that. <laughs> you can't wake me up when I'm sleeping anyway. Apparently, my uh, my my daughter turns 15 this week. Uh, I don't know. I just bought another thousand dollar phone or whatever she wanted, and uh, take her out for dinner with her friends. And It's a great time for a father, I tell you. Daughter turning 15. Introduced me to her new boyfriend about two weeks ago. First boyfriend and new boyfriend. So I'm pretty much sure I talked about this last time we talked. I think I scared the shit out of him at the first dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he was ever coming back, but you know what? He's a trooper. He'd come back the next day. <laughs> I wouldn't have. I was showing him my guns, I think. <laughs> you were With the night scope. Night scopes. He said, how many bullets you got? I think I showed him the five-gallon pails. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the round to have here. <laughs> they, they come out of a five-gallon pail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, Spence. <laughs> what? I'm a heavy fan of the NRA. <laughs> In Canada, you can do whatever you want. Everybody's pretty much regulated here. I mean, if you had any problem ever, they take all your shit away. Same as the States. <laughs> pretty much. And they're trying to label more people than they need to right now, and I'm sure you guys are really worried about them taking everything. Taking everything like the, what? Uh, everything that we're not going to have guys, when the... Uh, when to all protect the yourself. I, I think you're going to take your protections away. 
Mm, they can't take my protection away. In the name of Jesus is my protection. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. if Anyone I had that kind of faith, I would rely on that. Yeah. I would never rely on a gun to save me. I know that. Everybody has one. I mean, there's no point. That moon tonight? Judy, are you looking out? I got my uh, Bluetooth on, and I'm just talking about uh, my cell phone. We had, we had rain again. My God, it's huge. It's white. It, is this not a full moon? Like a calendar day full moon? Because that sucker is huge. It probably was yesterday. I haven't even checked it because... Well, yesterday was pretty big, and it was much more yellow. Today, it's just a bright white looking pretty full. Uh, I haven't seen anything all day. It was the uh, it was a beautiful morning. It was special. No wind. It was all the snow was melting. It was just gorgeous. And then I went back outside, um, and uh, half my roof blew off. And uh, you know how it is. The weather's a little wacky. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I saw a great big, I think, thirty foot piece of siding come off the top. It was part of the ice shield to keep the ice from sliding. Right. But it slid anyway. It slid anyway and just took that piece right off. So I don't know why I have to hire to fix that, but I'm not too worried about it. I know there's two roofs below it. Right. But look at that man, Judy. Holy crap. Well, Pretty I mystic in the north. I can't see it Pretty tonight mystic. because it's raining again. Yeah. No, we kind of had that... Uh, I had that weather earlier where you couldn't see shit, but uh, it's clearing right up here. Uh, they stopped spraying, eh? And eventually the, the, the sky's clear here. Because this morning there was there was not a sign of a cloud to have a cloud all day. But after 400 airplanes passed, they had tic-tac-toed and managed to muster a piece of shit in the sky. Uh, I'm sure it's not to help us in any way, by the way. Uh, I thought maybe they'd try to kill us, but yeah, crazy stuff. Boost, boost song. Yeah, it definitely is. Crazy. Uh, it is crazy. Mm -hmm. So, what would it cost to retire there, Judy? Uh, that depends on, Come on. which in state, your which... state. Your state and what you're doing. What it costs to retire. In my city? That depends on... Right on, now, that depends to pay on everything if you off want to sleep and under retire. a tree. And, or if you want no, to... No, no, Judy. Well, I'm being honest with you. Now, it completely well, depends on how much you... What you want. Yeah. Because you definitely... Uh, you definitely are you happy happen. with what you have now? Who, me? Yeah. No, dude, I'm living. So you in have poverty. a three bedroom. You have a two bedroom. Are you happy with the house and the size of it? It's not my house. Okay, you're renting. I'm not even renting a house. No. <laughs> so you live. You're not owning, and you're not renting. You're leasing. Not even that. Okay, so there was a third option. I don't know if a fourth, Judy, can you, I don't know, I'm digging, I'm digging in the wrong direction here, you can just tell me to stop anytime. It's okay. So, it's okay, but, you know, it's not, Judy, we shouldn't be in this situation. It is what it is, you ever heard of the working poor? Yeah, yeah. I actually have. Yeah, okay. Next topic. I know. Yeah, okay, sorry. I'm <laughs> okay. uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> Crazy weather today. <laughs> I already told you the thirty foot piece of my roof come off. Yeah. Uh, that was it was hurricane proof, good for three inch hail, but it came off my roof today <laughs> with uh, I think six inch lag bolts uh, were securing it to the stud, and that's concerning. I think there's a couple of well, several massive holes in my roof right now. Thank God it's not shingles. It's 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 steel. So even if it rains, it can't leak. It's like perfect. Right. So 
Perfect retirement. How much do you need? Perfect retirement. For the basics. 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 We're talking basics, Judy. We're talking house. Obviously, how many? Okay, so you have a cat. You have a dog. I have, you have a child. Any. Still living at home. No. Child of visits. They uh, live out of state. Okay. Okay, but you need a two bedroom, right? Yeah. Okay. So you need a two bedroom in Canada. Um. And how far out of uh, a major outlet city are you willing to live? <laughs> that would depend on my income. Well, no, you're retiring. So you're retiring on the fact that uh, you've paid into something. And um, you're going to not get that, it, maybe, because you're too young yet. You're too young to it doesn't let it work kick like in that. yet. It doesn't work like that here, brother. Not for the poor. <laughs> oh. I, will oh. not, I will not be able to live on, on what, what I will get in retirement. I will be working till the day I die. It's that simple. No, I, I, I actually was in that spot last year. Um, I would have to die, and then people could get paid. Uh, just last year. And uh, no, we, there's other ways around it, Judy. So, two bedroom in Canada, and you own it. How much money do you have to come with? You tell me you're the one in Canada, not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a lot, Judy. It's not a lot. It's not a lot at all. Uh, well, if you're liquidating a house in the States, it's a joke, actually. You'd be like moving into a Bermuda price range like it's incredible but anyway um it wouldn't take much and it's not uh, much. Prob- Twenty thousand us coming into canada and then eventually being a canadian with free hospitalization uh it doesn't matter what work you get uh it really doesn't matter you could live like a king here you, you know what your money's worth where you are when you go to convert it it's going to be all into your your homes. So your how much does how much is six thousand dollars a year convert to in Canada? Uh, we could look well, yeah, really right. well. Six thousand dollars. Well, without our side jobs, I mean, Judy, I mean, <laughs> without our side jobs, we could live. But with our side jobs, we could live well. <laughs> yeah, really well, actually, like a king. Uh, eat whatever you want from around the world. Uh, travel wherever you want. It's uh, it's more doable in Canada, for sure. Yeah, I like it's the way time. you dream. <laughs> but see, my plan is. Um, I'm not dreaming. It's already done deal. I'm out. My plan is, uh, you know, it's going to get really rough. And, uh, well, let's not plan for that, Judy. No, 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 it's not pretty good at all. I have no control over that part. That part is it's going to happen. But I want to be around as many people as possible so I can help as many people as possible uh, make that connection think... with God, you know, yes. because that's, that, is, that. that is the that's ultimate, awesome. that's the ultimate goal. Because when we leave here, you know, that's it. Uh, yeah, when our time's up, our time's up. Yeah, there's no moving on from it. There's no afterlife. There's no, there's none of that. Oh, that's my opinion. No, there's God, and there's eternity with God. Yes. Your soul, whether you believe in God or not, your soul is is gonna still be alive once you once it leaves your <coughs> your body. Well, I'd love to think that, but um, until it happens. I can never be proven that. <laughs> I'm just, I, I don't believe in any of that. But it's good, though. I think people need that. I think I think it's a great thing. I went to Sunday school. I went to church when I was young. Um, my grandmother tried hard on me, and I was a failure uh, to going to church and her beliefs and stuff. But she was a totally God-fearing woman, and uh, she's a beautiful person. Yeah, awesome. So, so good. I just think we've been misinformed. Dude. Well, that's not 
Yeah, we've been misinformed, all right. I okay, think if you think uh, someone's coming to save, like to the point where if you think someone's coming to save you, well, then you just go with faith, and when the wave comes, you just go with the wave, and you and you go off into that. But uh, as far as <laughs> surviving what's coming and moving on for, so for you, further you, your you family think tree, all, all, you think all this perfection? It's all about you. All this perfection on no, it's so not all about us. You think all this perfection on earth and the human body and the plants and the flowers and all the animals and everything and the way that we're able to stay up in the universe and not fall and descend to whatever some black hole or something. You don't you don't think that there's some purpose after this. You think <laughs> I think you get one shot at this, Judy. Life on and I don't think I think you got to do the best you could do in this shot. Uh, I'm not saying that there can't be another shot. I just don't believe in the second shot. Uh, I think you live once, do the best you can possibly ever do, Why? and you can't uh, take any of it live with you. every day like it's your last. As things change now. Okay, so let me ask you this. You know, scientifically, you can't kill energy. So where does the energy from your body go when it leaves you? Where does your soul go? That is that is your source of energy. So tell me, where, well, where does it go? Where do you think it goes? Well, I, I don't have an explanation for it. Or I'd say something. You know, I just can't answer that question. Um, energy can't be dispersed, right? Someone no, else is reborn. Someone else is reborn at that it, moment, and uh, they move on, and it's got nothing to do with us. Well, if someone else took your soul, was, was that's no. what you're saying? That's what you're saying. I'm saying, where does your energy, where does your soul go? Where does that? Oh, you're going source? deep, girl. You're yeah. going too deep. I need God you to damn. think about this, brother, because we want to see you in heaven. Oh, God. So I need. I really God. need you to put some thought to. You know, you've been living your yeah, life. Yeah, I can't go there. It's not going to be a good place for me. Well, um, I, I've been a good person. I've given way more than I've ever received. But uh, I've probably been a In my teenage youth, I, I've probably wrecked it as far as getting past those pearly gates. Nope, nope. Nothing you can do, nothing you can do can keep you well, from God if you repent and accept Jesus as your Savior. Nothing you can well, do. Bill Clinton says that, but I'm sure he ain't getting through. I'll tell you that. Uh, that guy, I would, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't be sure on that. If he repents and he accepts Jesus, I don't he's know, in. man. He's getting I just in. seen another picture with him and a young girl in the airplane. I don't know. I think he going. I think he going to a bad place. Saying, I think he deserves to go to a bad, bad, bad place. No. That's, no, he's no. definitely we, that, that whole want, family is so we don't, corrupt. We don't want <laughs> anybody suffering in hell for eternity. That's not what we should want for anybody. So, God is this, the devil's that, and you're depicting exactly from scripture what those things are. Yeah. True? Yeah. Okay. Who wrote the scripture? The men that knew Jesus. The men that the knew men that watched Jesus, Jesus work miracles and raise people from the dead and and make the blind see. Um, the people that saw him resurrected. Oh, you're good. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Think about this. Think no, you're about, good. You're listen good. to me, Spence. No, that's pretty cool. All that's right, listen, cool. listen. If it wasn't true. Then why not somewhere in history does someone, why is there nowhere in history, no one says that those things weren't true. Nobody. Nowhere in history, not on any cave wall, not in any book, not on any, anybody's mouth except people here now. No one back in history said that Jesus did not perform those miracles. Matter of fact, they wanted to crucify him because he did. They claimed he was doing black magic. They claimed he was, he had to be 
uh, serving some other yeah. people yeah. in order to do those things. So that that it, right there proves he it did was against what everything they believed in. So they were definitely going to outcast him for so sure. So that proves he did what they what what his disciples said he did because nobody in history said he didn't. Even Do you know what's Muslims, really written on rock? The Muslims, though? even the Muslims believe he did what he did. Okay? Oh, I'll feel your passion, girl. Oh, you boy. love the church. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I'm passionate I can about feel that. it, man. <laughs> oh, no. It's like Shark calling in about a moon arriving that's not supposed to be here yet. It's like the passion's just huge. It's so good. So good. But you know what I'm saying? If you take oh, I do, sense, I do. If you take well, my my sense, grandmother had that passion. If he hadn't she done, did. if he hadn't done the things that they said he did in the scriptures, then there would be some, at least some evidence. Oh, I need to be quiet too because my roommate's trying to sleep. There would be some evidence in Ouch. history. There would be some, some somewhere in history we would find something that where people were saying he didn't do what he did. The only thing that everybody okay. disagreed on was him being the yeah. son of God. Now, here's a man, the only person in history that was able to raise the dead, able to make the blind see, you know what I'm saying? Able to do the miracles. Was but you're, you're talking written word that's been stopped on. Oh my goodness, brother. I had, a brain, been I had a brain tumor. I don't care. See, they can't stomp God's word. That's the whole point. That's what no, they can't. No, but they have. They have it. rewritten the Bible, brother. They to can't fe- to meet their they needs. They can't change the inspired word of God. There's a difference in everything in no, these new Bibles right. and the inspired word but of God. But the written word has been altered by not good people. What you need to do... <laughs> I know this. Uh, John. <laughs> the only reason I say this. What you need to do is have a one-on-one conversation with God. And I'm going to pray that that happens. And I'm going to... I will that. be there that I'm day. I'm going to do that right I'm going to go like one day. To- I'll go toe-to-toe. I'm going toe to toe. I'm not going like, out easy. I would, I would like the people in the room to join in this with me because God says when two or more touch it. Well, on a you prayer. got me outnumbered. Casey is like really, really good Christian. Okay. And she's a really, really special, special girl. And you yourself are so powerful in your beliefs. Uh, I will never take that away from you and try and convert anything that you're, you're portraying. Uh, I totally, my family was the same way. God rest their soul, all of them. Um, they well, believed in all their kinds soul of old, is, their old soul school is shit. Probably fine. Uh, no, they died a painful death and from stupidity. There was a cure right in front of them, but they wouldn't take it. Okay. Um, yeah, and they could have lived a really good life. My mom lived in pain in a bed for 30 years for no reason. Uh, it's all because of the government hiding shit. It's totally, totally wrecking their lives. Like, what they were taught was totally wrong. But the church part was good, though, Judy. Don't get me wrong. Uh, their lives, my mom's was not well. Like, she was bedridden for like 12 years. Uh, she had a double fusion in her back. It, it was just such a painful thing. And there's no reason for her to ever, ever have to go through that. The technology was there for much better things. Okay. Judy, I'm not yes. taking church away from you. I agree well, with you. You can't. And I feel your passion like you would never believe. Okay, but Spencer, uh, let me let me let me tell you what I wanted to say to you. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Forget about the Bible for now. Okay. Forget about yeah, because it's been rewritten about a million I, I, times. Okay. By listen, corrupt people. Listen to but me. But you know that, right, Judy? You, know you, you see, you don't know the history I know of the Bible. <laughs> oh, okay. Because okay. I have the original one here. Right, it's in you stone. have the original. It's in <laughs> stone. It's in Hebrew. Um, and Hebrew does not convert to English very well at all. Uh, excuse me, but do, when they found the Red, Ski, the Red Sea Scrolls, they found that Scripture was oh, still the scrolls. same. Anything okay. on paper is doctor. This wasn't on paper? I'm talking stone. All right, listen to me. 
I'm talk I'm talking okay. stone too. You talk stone. Oh, let's I talk stone. Like, no stone go. says Jesus wasn't real. Oh. No stone says Jesus did not oh, raise no. the dead. No stone says Jesus did not perform the miracles he did. No stone right. says that. That means Unless you're Jewish, it happened. And he hasn't come yet, right? The stone doesn't say stones don't say that either. The, no, the, but if you're Jewish, you're like not, my you're, neighbor I, is I, over I, here. I already said that. He's I just said across the, the only street. thing that people deny was him being the son of God, him being the Messiah. Or here, him okay? even coming Nobody at all. denied he did everything that he did. Nobody so denies that. When Hitler tried Common to wipe sense off the Jews, tell y'all, Common sense has got to tell y'all, if he did all those things, <laughs> it's the only person in history has ever been able to do that. Do you think he was this honest, caring, loving, passionate man that lived sin-free and did all these mm. miracles, had the power to raise the dead, make the blind see, heal leprosy, and everything else. Do you think that it, all of a sudden at 33 years old, he's going to say, okay, I'm going to let y'all crucify me because I'm going to lie and say I'm the son of God? No, that doesn't even make sense. So the only issue other religions have with him is that he wasn't the son of God. That That's their claim. Well, what sense does it make mm -hmm. for him to live the perfect sin-free life and do all the loving things that he did for man? Because all he taught was love, and all he did was help people, and he suffered for it. So what sense does it make for him to do all that and then turn around and lie to say, I'm the son of God, so they could hang him on a cross and beat him and t torture him and everything that they did? Do you understand what I'm saying? He did that. Oh, no, I torture. know. I know the he deal. He took the torture and I... sacrifice for us so that we could have a chance to be saved. So we could because the the way the the penalty for sin was death. Okay, the, yeah. this was this was written in their laws, and you know you can't have laws and just break them. You know just because. So you know. Oh, it was stricter made, back then, laws. dude. Trust me, it's a lot stricter back then. Way stricter. If you steal, they cut your hand off. Like you said, if you break a commandment, you're gone. Okay, baby. Okay. okay, so you got me off my what I wanted to say to you again. Let me let me let me finish this because see you get me all riled up and so <laughs> Oh, I know. I can feel it. Oh, you got it, girl. Go ahead. Woo, all your... righty. Okay, so Woo. I'm on fire for the Lord. All right. Okay. <laughs> see, I, 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 <laughs> I was attending the Holy Sanctified Church, so we get you know we get riled up. So anyway, we be stomping. Oh no, shower. I've been to Sunday school. It was a goddamn, uh, I think you come up with a black eye twice. Okay, Crazy. so. I like I, it, though. Spencer, what I want you to do, I want I want you to say this simple thing, and I'm dead serious. I want mm -hmm. you to say, God, I don't know if you're there or not. The Bible's been mm -hmm. rewritten by man. I don't know what to believe. There's so many different theories out there, but I want to know okay. if you're real or not. I'm seeking you. So please give me give me a sign. I want to know you, and if, if you are there, I want to be right and that's with you. Faith. Oh no no no! We're not there yet. We're not at oh, faith. Oh, that's faith. No. Oh no! You're okay. reaching right now. No, you're reaching. Definitely faith. You're reaching. You're the one. Oh no! I'm not reaching. I'm just reading the rock. If you had they wrote faith, it in rock, if, if, if you the real. Faith, you wouldn't deal. have to ask them that. I'm I'm t I'm asking you to reach out to them. That's what I'm asking. I can, and I have, and I have. When my mother was passing and my father was dying, I did. I did reach out. Uh, they died of cancer, and uh, there was a cure for it, and no one told them. And it was their government that killed them. But, uh, hey, we all got to go through that, right? They're not dead. We know better they're, now. They're asleep until Jesus returns. Sure, yes. No, they died painfully, uh, badly of cancer and and they didn't smoke or drink and i do both so and i've outlived one of them already unfortunately but, but the, the cure, cure was, was up in 1972 and that was just shortly after i was born it's too bad if people couldn't just share information like we can today and uh, they would live really happy lives <sighs> But anyway, I only believe stuff that's written in rock. Uh, you can show me faith in all this. Well, so you, th you think that there was no liars back then in writing on rock? Really? You don't think uh, there were liars back then? No, I know the original commandments. 
the original, original commandments, commandments were written on stone. Who wrote um, them? Who do you think wrote, wrote them? I know who wrote them. God wrote them. I, I know a guy that's uh, traveled the world a thousand times over, Doug mm -hmm. Vogt, and uh, he's been to where they were written. He was the only person to actually find the spot uh -huh. where he was where it was written on the rock. He was the only person. Hard. The only person to ever find the actual site. Yeah, the well, actual let, site. Let me remind and you of this. Let me remind you of this. The earth has shifted. The land has shifted. The land all used to, used to be one mass, and then it was all separated, and is and is going to do it again. But so where things are now, yeah. and where they were back then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. And he knew the factor. To, to factor that in to find the real spot and he found the real spot mm -hmm. uh, you should check him out Doug Bolt is probably the smartest guy that I've met and I've met I don't know <laughs> a, a, lot of, a lot of smart people but uh, you should check him out if you have any like he's totally into the Bible and he's proven the Bible for you and he's just totally into uh, what you're doing but he has a scientific background to state what we're coming in for and what we're going to go through. And uh, this whole shit's going to... We're, we're screwed, Judy. Bible says this is going to be like a scroll. Yeah, no, it yeah. is. And, yeah, it is. <laughs> and, and all the wrong advertising is pushing people to the equator where things are just going to be uh, a recycling zone. Uh, if you're not in the north or the south pole, there's no surviving this. None of them survived it 12,000 years ago either. Uh, you have to not be near the equator. And that was my deciding factor in not moving to Arizona. So I can't move there. That place is tough. <laughs> Get the hell out of there. When the winds go from 100 miles an hour, which they were today, to a thousand miles an hour, the water starts to roll across the land, and uh, we're going through some really bad times. Yeah. Yeah. We, we were in the, just the beginning of a pole shift. It's a nice, slow version of the movie 2012, but not all in one day. It's happening, but it's over time. That's my opinion. And I'm not going to ever this your beliefs. Um, they're strong and uh, you, you keep being what we are. Uh, my mother was raised in the end, my father, my grandmother, and uh, and they had their beliefs and I always had different ones and they, did, and they didn't respect me because of that. It's all good. It's all good. Everybody knows their own truth. But to save yourself from the small catastrophes coming in the very near future, you don't have to be a billionaire to do that. You just need to move out of the main cities and uh, definitely get off the coast. Anyone who lives on the coast? Well, some like, of us, some of us are stuck where we are. So, uh, how far you're actually fairly fairly close to the east coast? I am on the East Coast. I'm yeah, right on the coast. But fairly, really? Yeah. I have no idea. I never even thought to ask where you're going. So you're actually east of the mine? I am on the ocean, so yes, I am east of Mike. <laughs> well, so when you do a late show, you're doing the late, late, late show. Holy no, shit. At the same time, it's 11.40 p.m. 11.48 p.m. right now. Yeah, it's 11.48 here, but... Yeah. Shit, I've been on a time. Yep. That's crazy. Unbelievable. Oh, oh I learn something new every day because everybody else I know in Newfoundland, it's three hours earlier than pretty much. All right, I, I like the way you sidetracked me, but uh, I'm going to ask you for a moment of silence. 
And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask the people in the room to join in with me and we say a little prayer for Spencer because we love Spencer. Oh, my God. So you just be quiet and listen. Okay. <laughs> for my soul, I'm telling you. It's... All right. Everybody ready? In the name of Jesus, we ask, Holy Father, please allow the Holy Spirit to descend or engulf <laughs> or invade Spencer's <laughs> heart and mind. Please bless him with discerning abilities on this subject. Uh, I, I, I know you don't want to lose no, not one. And uh, I believe Spencer could be a good soldier in your army. And he's uh, a little confused because there's so much so much uh, crazy information the right out board there. The left phone face. And so just touch him and uh, let him know you're there so he can reach out for you and he can start you can start seeing your glory and your love and uh, we can build his faith in the name of Jesus and that goes for anyone else that's straddling the fence in the name of Jesus we yeah, thank you no. and we praise you hallelujah amen wow thank you so much Judy uh huh now just let the Holy Spirit do the rest well I'm feeling a little bit enlightened. Uh, definitely part of it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're moving to Canada? Probably not. <laughs> oh, my God. Judy, we have to get through this and retire comfortably. Yeah. That's the main thing. Yeah, I'm not going to retire comfortably. I mean, it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, no, you have to set for that. You have to set your bar high. And if you fiddle in the middle, it's all good. Don't set the bar low. Judy, yeah, well, I used, to, I used to tell people you're the girl to shoot for the stars, and if you land on the moon, the... you're in a good spot. Yes, my boss used to say that. I bought his yeah. company out. My boss used to say it to me every day. Shoot for the stars, man. I made him... All right, hold on. Let's see if I can answer this. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Did I lose everybody? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, it's our favorite troll. How you doing? God loves you, too. God loves you, too. You know, if you ever... Come on, ain't you got better sound effects than that? No. <laughs> All right, this one's got a beat going. All right, silly. <laughs> that was crazy. All right. So sorry about that, Spence. I guess I still can't do the uh, the three way on on this particular version that I'm running right now. So, all right, y'all don't let the, uh, our, uh, new, uh, friend have all the access. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Judy. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm um, well. Thank you very much. I do got some good news for you all that's happened in the United States. And what is that? Um, it's actually over there in New Mexico, and it's in Roswell. I don't know if you've heard of Roswell in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. And um, and it's a resolution in 1928 Act, 
and they declared a sanctuary city for human life in Roswell, New Mexico. And it's um, it's an act that is about um, the un- it protects the unborn. And um, it's the act actually says must always protect those who can't protect themselves. So I thought we'd give glory to God for that one because we know how he loves his children. Absolutely. And that was Roswell. And everyone can look that up. Yeah, Roswell. Um, it's in New Mexico. And if you look up the resolution, 1928, it will have everything in literature there for you all to see them declare this wonderful sanctuary city for human life. And I think that that's a good start. Um, Now, if it would go every county and every city and every state, that would be a blessing. And that's what I'm going to pray for tonight. Because I think that people lead by example. And the more that we get it out there, you know, I think it will inspire a lot of hope for mothers, especially that are making tough decisions, you know, that are young in their life or or old. Because we're all faced with decisions. And um, I just think it's really inspiring, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to call you guys on. And um, love you, troll. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Um, that's all I pretty much wanted to say. Still getting over my cold a little bit and my throat's aching just a tiny touch. But I'll get over it. And um, I love you all. I'm going to be out there supporting you guys in the chat. And I'll pray for you guys every single day. We so love and light to you all. We all need that. Yes, we do. I have. I love you very much, and I'll talk to y'all some other time. All right. God bless you. Thank you for calling in with that info. Thanks, and bye. All right. Now, see, dear troll, why can't you call in and, and, and share something besides sound effects? <laughs> I've heard all those before on some movie or something. Good evening, you're on the air. Hey, it's Jeff P. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? Good. Hey, you know what really inspired me to call in? What's that, dear? Well, besides, like, sharing the truth. (laughs) But that, uh, I heard that troll. T-R-O-L-L. It's an acronym for Truth Resisting Organized Lying Loser Farians. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a word of truth for that guy, but I'm just going to start with this because every time these demonically inspired people feel inspired to call you like this, let this uh, resonate in their spirit every time as a reflex when people come at them. So I just want to read a quick quote in the Bible. Some of the very words that will send demons fleeing a spark of truth. <clears throat> so it comes from the book of Revelation. Now it's all the apocalypse, the unveiling of Jesus Christ. And so if you don't mind, let me read this. No, and uh, this will scare off all the demons, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, and this also comes for anybody who is being uh, tormented by trolls or devils or demons or anybody when they start to making you feel guilty that you're not worthy because we're we uh inherit the kingdom by grace not by works right so when you when the devil reminds you of your past you remind him of his future and every puppet that follows the kingdom of satan and the father of the devil such as the troll it is called <laughs> so without any further so from the book of revelation you can read with me if you want. It's chapter 20, verse 7. When the thousand years were over, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them for battle. And remember, they are like the sand on the seashore. They march the gra- across the breadth of the earth and surround the camp of God's people, the city he loves. But fire came down from heaven and devoured them. And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur where the beast and the false prophet have been thrown. 
they will be tormented night and day forever and ever. <laughs> well, let's let's hope our troll doesn't make it there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't hope that. So you need to repent, stop following the devil, and. Well, you know, some of them um, uh, are just lost souls with nothing to do. And uh, I think that they're, like, nervous to call in and talk. And, um, you know, I guess there's different reasons for different people. Um, like, we had uh, a guy named George. And he called, and he said some of the most horrible things one night. And he called, like, 15 times. And he said... I mean, it was all very <laughs> derogatory, very ugly, very mean. And he called yeah. me this night. And um, he said, don't hang up. I just want to talk. I'm like, okay. But I had my, you know, I had my finger on the hang up button. <laughs> and uh, I let him <laughs> talk. And we ended up praying with him. He prayed with us. And then he apologized, you know, like four different times. Wow. And named each person Praise that he had said Lord. something bad to. And um, he said he loves everyone, and he he hopes we have long, healthy lives. And I'm telling you, it was it was uplifting, you know. So, yeah. yeah. Well, there's a reason that you know of all the places people can go, he tuned into your little channel. Yep. Yeah. And sometimes that's exactly what people do because they just hit in the face with the word of God and they hit the seed, and they're and they sparked. And, and God can use people like that in that circumstance. Yeah. So I wouldn't be a bit surprised if these people call back and we don't come back with name calling, you know. And that's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying it as it is, though, because that's right. who they are. Right. And we are, you, there's only two people on this earth, and you need to join the kingdom. You know, you're either a saint or you're an eight. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. You know, you're, you, Jesus said you're either with me or against me. There's right. no in between. Right. And we are the only religion that 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 stands out. You know, you don't see Buddhist out getting persecuted. Right. So Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And people, the light is shining so bright. And at first, people just repel by it when they really hit them and let it sink in for a little bit. And, and then they'll come back and apologize when, when, the, when the pride, you know, subsides. And they're like, oh, wow, that was right. That's what I want. We're, we're a big, big family. You know, it was Jesus Christ died on the cross and born again. I mean, Jesus Christ died for us, right? Perfect man. And called out 12 disciples to follow him thousands of years ago. And here we are, like hundreds and hundreds of millions of people strong. It's never going to go away. Its kingdom is coming. It's never going to, no, nothing can stop it. You know, you've never heard this ever before in any other religion. So... This uh, truth is marching on, and it's never going to stop. You know, no. it's eternal. We yeah. can't say that about any other religion. You know, you can even kill this, attack this, you know. But uh, the more you fight it, the stronger it comes, you know. Yeah. And these the martyr people, and every time they kill somebody, it just 12 more, even the, the assassins were... The executioners were beginning to believe. They're like, wow, I love you. And people are getting their heads chopped off. And they're like, yeah. I still love you. I'm like, who's seen such love, right? Yeah, right, exactly. And, um, yeah, it's it's funny how uh, people hate Christians and want to kill them. And, um, you know, th there's been a lot of uh, religious wars. But... Uh, <laughs> If people, you know, like like I was saying, I don't know if you were here for it, but like I was saying, if no one in history has ever claimed that Jesus did not do the things that he did, were you here for all that? No, I just recently tuned in. Okay. <laughs> it's funny, I hear like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you believe um, me, I've been at this for a long time, and I get I, every foul thing there is, you know, and, and being, a, being a truther, you know, you thing about the light it cuts you know light and darkness and so you get people either loving you or hating you there's nothing in between right you know woe to the man who every man says or you're a good person you know you, you say who's Jeff P in there well you know if you don't know me that's fine but if you do like oh yeah he's really cool oh that idiot you know I'm, I'm one or the other I'm not in the middle 
right. <laughs> but but you you know we we really don't care because um, we're not we're not doing this for uh, approval of people. Um, we're right. doing this because we love people and we want everybody to get the message. So you know if we if we have people that don't like it, then so be it. Jesus already told us that was going to happen. Yep. So, you know, I heard another message too. Like, you know, of many common belief is like everything just keeps going around and around in a big cycle, and that's not true. Right. And everything has a beginning and an end. Right. You know, life is linear, not circular. Not circular. It is going straight. It had a beginning in the beginning, and we're going to have a closing. And then we're going to go into eternal. We'll have ages, and you know, we are going to go. When I say end, I mean an end of the, the age. Right, right. You know, in a way, the we light, shouldn't say the, the end is, is near. We should say here. the beginning is near. Right. Exactly. You know, the rule of man is over. God is one of the biggest reasons, well, the, the only reason why we have all these different governments is to be, to, for God to prove that man can't manage man. Well, Let's just try democracy, socialism, every, you know, democracy was one of the best ones, but ultimately it gets corrupted. And the only God is the only one that can really run the world, not man. Right. Well, if man followed God's rules and laws, then everything would be fine. But because man has free yeah. will and Adam and Eve chose to <laughs> rebel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because God set the kingdom up, God set earth up for man to, you know, have dominion over. And there, and then that's when Satan stepped in because he was jealous that man got it instead of him. Exactly. And now, Very jealous. And now Satan has, <laughs> has, Satan is the ruler of the earth and we can see that. It's so evident. Um, and that's what, that, that's what really upsets me when people blame bad things on God and I'm like why are you blaming it on God you know <laughs> did you forget about Satan <laughs> if you, yeah, you know, behind us. yeah. So if, you, if you can blame something on God if you believe in God then you have to believe in Satan so why are you putting this on God God came he sent his son to tell us what was going on that there was a spiritual battle going on, that Satan was the ruler of this earth, not to give in to the worldly things, not you know, and, and and teach his love, love everyone, love God, and pray in Jesus' name, you know, and it's, <laughs> Jesus' message was pretty simple. And why, you know, why other, and that's what I don't get. Because like the Muslims say, Jesus was a good man. He was a good prophet. He performed all those miracles. He lived sin free. But then they think he just decided to lie at 33 and, and be crucified because he wanted to claim he was the son of God. I'm like, as common sense tells you that doesn't make sense. Why, you know, if he right. was all those things and the only one in history ever that could do those things and was resurrected from the dead... And, and there's nothing in history that disputes that. The only thing that is disputed is, was he actually the Son of God? Was he the Messiah? That's the only dispute. Right. Nobody but that's the only all reason. This. Right. Right. Go ahead. That's why the Jews killed him in the first place. That's why he was crucified, because he claimed to be God. Yep. Well, they wanted you know, to crucify him before that because he was performing miracles. They said he was doing black magic. So nobody, that, that's, that's, what, that's what convinced me, you know, as I was reading and, and, and searching for the truth, it dawned on me if I approached it like I would anything else that I researched because I look at all the, you know, weigh all the facts and stuff. I'm like, well... If they wanted to kill him because he was performing miracles and raising the dead and they were claiming it was black magic he was using, <laughs> then that just proves he did what they, you know, what the scripture says he did. Um, right. So, yeah. Yep. So I don't yeah, know Booth, why. Yeah, Booth made a comment in the, in the uh, 
chat room, and I, I love it. I, I use that one all the time in my philosophy. You know, we, we need to, like, read the Bible and use it, the word like a sword. Because yes. we, we struggle not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against authorities, against powers of the dark world, against spiritual forces and evil in heavenly realms. You know, so when we have, like, struggles, and I've had uh, people who crept in into my close friend network, and I promoted their channel, and they exploded, and then they turned against me, you know, and I'm, I'm really not mad at that person. What, what I attack is their ideologies. Right. You know, we're going, I, I don't go after the person, I go after, well, you know, I'm just going to stand for the truth. Right. You know, there is really no truth. It's not subjective. It, it, you know, there is nothing to argue about. We're going to argue. And then we also need to pick our battles correctly. You know, we we really, really have to win souls for, for Jesus Christ. You know, forget that's the big battle and let the Holy Spirit do the work. Yeah. When he wins over a soul, all those little battles will, will be won. You know, we're not supposed to be protesting for anti-abortion as sick as it is. We... We need to fight to win the soul, it's the soul itself. And when the soul wins that person, you know, then we we want a brother, and they and that will fight. That's that's the real battle. Right. And we we need we need to win souls. We we will fight. We we um we need to overturn evil with good. Amen. You know. So when something comes like, hey, bless you, love you, brother, just I love you, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for inspiring me. I have people attack me, and all it makes me do is like, wow, I am just keeps strengthening the God. Like, yep, you're a child of God. That's why they attack you. You know, so thank you for confirming it over and over again. You know, if they just kept quiet, I'm going to start to doubt. But this, these attacks continue like right on. You know, you're right path. You know, so if, if, you're, if you're out promoting, you know, worldly things, you know, like the, this. I guess I didn't mean that explanation what worldliness is, but if it's something that's not truth, then, you know, those those things, those people don't attack you, you know. And you notice you're like you're a natural enemy of God, too. I mean, the enemy of the devil. As yeah. soon as you're born again, the, the, I've, I've had people, I'd be driving down the streets and people just look at me and look at me like anger. I'm like, I don't even know you. Right. Where is this anger coming from? The Holy Spirit tells me, because the... He, we are made you know your mind some people are that in tune that wow this this person hates being like huh so just and you just like a little smile on your face and you just love them back because you know that you're a child of god it's just a constant constant reminder and it's really amazing so we're actually blessed by like people that come on there and like yell at you and curse you and you know do the things that they do like that last caller, like, oh, wow, I'm on the right track. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> How can I bless you and pray for you, brother? <laughs> well, actually, that was, that was actually, actually, they called in last night and they did that, right? They played those uh, sound effects. And then the very next call was, all they kept saying was, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, let's pray. We, we should, like, pray for that person, like, even now, you know? I say, Father in heaven, we ask you in Jesus' name, would you send your holy angel down on that person that called and convict him in his dreams and his mind? And uh, would you cast out the evil spirits that are tormenting this person and cause love to fall time? Show him what real love really is as he listens secretly on the show. And we just uh, we just pray that he would come to the truth and the light and and come into the family of God, the only real family. Lord, I mean, there's just so many lonely souls out there. We pray that you just bless him mightily uh, with your love and your mercy and forgive him all his sins in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, amen. So, <laughs> you know what? I had another thing I used to share with people that would be newborn Christians and this this happened to me is, is it I would get like these evil feelings coming upon me and just total attack like curse God and curse God and die you know just say something outrageous and it was like these spirits would come upon me and try and get me to say things that uh, like are against what I believe in I'm like no 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 and it's be huge like World War 3 in my mind and I 
and I it finally like heard some people like, is this just me or is this like, this is real? And what I found, what defeated this was exactly what I just read to you when I came on your channel. Right. Three things that evil spirits hate. If you have that dreadful feeling, is the worship and praise of God, prayer, and reading the Bible out loud. And that, yeah. that one there is is so powerful. I used to have these feelings of dread. I would just read that out loud like, oh, I feel so much better. You know, maybe you did something wrong the other night. And you did something. You so apologize, and you feel convicted. And convictions from the Holy Spirit, condemnations from the devil, you define the two. But when that comes upon you, you... you you start praising, worship God, and, and pray out loud. And let that be the reflex of, of, of that. And then every time these demons in the spirit world come upon you like that, you say that out loud and do that, they're going to learn real quick, oh, crap. If every time that they they do this, that you're, you're praying to people, you're worshiping God, and you're doing things that you should be doing, and you're right on track with God, they will stop cold in their tracks. It will never happen again. I get, promise you. Well, he has to back off. If you say, in the je name of Jesus, I command you to leave, he has to back off. Right. So, he has to. And these yeah. people, for you, every, every Christian has angels literally watching over them. So that All those inherit salvation, that God sends them, sends them a mighty, mighty angel, more powerful than any anything ever that they... And to watch over us, and they're they're amazing, powerful. I've experienced it with my own few times. So, I they they are out there. They they don't like to be worshipped, but they are to protect us. And I thank God for them all the time. And so it's a uh, it's very powerful. People don't know what they mess with when they're messing with the child of God. You know, we, we got to walk humble and don't and we just. You know, we don't showcase anything. We very humble people. They wouldn't know it until it, it comes upon them. They're like, it's uh, it's really amazing. I, I, this walk with God is, is awesome. When we share your faith with others and you see these attacks, it's like, <laughs> I was going to sit here and do nothing, but I just I just got so compelled to, we're, we're moved by this spirit to do things, you know? Yes. So it's uh. It's great. Anyways, hang in there. Keep up your good work. And uh, I'm going to go back to sleep. And uh, hey, we pray for that uh, person that called in. We yeah, pray that, thank, uh, thank you for they that, would come Jeff. to the real family of God, that that poor lonely soul that does this in the middle of the night has nothing better to do. God bless that soul that they would uh, they'd humble themselves and uh, may the the spirit of love just fall upon people that this person is called by someone who really loves God. The spirit of truth is, uh, is, uh, you know, a protected child of God and just pouring That's out right. love. How can you refuse that? man? That's you know, right. we, we win people by love. That's right. Absolutely. Does God. All right. Well, you have, yeah. yeah, you have a blessed night, Jeff. And as always, I appreciate you. And your input and your knowledge, and everybody else does. They love to hear from Jeff. All right. All right. God bless, all right. You. God God bless, bless you, you all. Brother. Okay, good night. All right, good night. Okay, good night. Always a pleasure hearing from Jeff. All righty. So, who's going to be the next caller? Wasn't it great stuff, Spence? All right, and now it's silent. Let's see. Okay, what are we going to talk about? Well, I was so... I was, um... Uh, so energetic with Spencer, I think I tired myself out. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff is awesome. You're calling next, Boost Boost? That would be, now that would be a miracle. 
That might make some people that don't believe believe if Boost Boost called in. <laughs> We're always putting Boost on the spot. <laughs> It's okay, Boos. We love you. Just like you are. Is Sean still here or did he leave? Poor thing, he probably went to sleep because it's uh, 4 a.m. in the UK or where he's at there. Yeah, I need to get a headset too. Make sure there's no... Uh, I'm sure it makes the sound better if there's a like a little echo or whatever amplified sound to it. Oh, there is Sean. Hey, just about awake still. <laughs> Sean, do you want to call in? You want to call? Uh, you know the way we do it. Phone. Yeah, I feel you, booze, booze. I definitely feel you on that. I be pushing my stuff to the max. That's just like my poor car. <laughs> my car's done pretty good for 13 years, I guess. By the grace of God, that is. Of course, Jeff is so sold. You would be too if, if you just gave yourself over for a minute, Spence. If you actually reached out to him and he lets you know that he's there, you would be so sold as well. You would be like we are. Yeah, he's a good, he's a good guy. Okay, so who's calling? Oh, well, we love you, Sean. You're an awesome person. And you have such a cute accent. I almost didn't... Uh, do the friend thing on, on Facebook, you know, because I, uh, I, I'm very limited with that because I use it for my daughter and my grandkids. And, uh, you know, I got like 3,000 people on my Facebook page from you know, the bar days, but um, <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I need to talk to this person. And then it was such a lovely conversation. Yeah, I use Facebook, Spencer, but I used to use it for advertising for the bar, and um, it works well. So, like, if you have 3,000 people on Facebook, and those 3,000 people have 10 people at minimum, which most people have at least 100, you can get up to a million people pretty quickly if you wanted to spread the word on something, you know? So when you're advertising, Facebook is free, so, if I advertise to 3,000 people and they have 100 people or 1,000 people on their friends list, then that's how many, you know, see how it grows really quick. So, but uh, Messenger is different because I only, I only use it really to talk to my, my family, my daughter, and my little cute, beautiful amazing blessings grandchildren strong as hail storm 30 years ravages really how big were the hailstones because we're waiting for those uh, what is it talons the bible talks about hailstones the size of talons 
That's coming too. Can you imagine? Getting hit in the head with that? Woo, we'd be gone instantly. You still have 2020? I never had 2020. How did you manage that, John? You didn't get the, uh, where you had to start reading, uh, using reading glasses? Alright, so is anyone calling in or I'm just talking air? Alright, let's look at the... is happening right now. Heavy hail shattered vehicles on rooftops Tuesday morning in Japing County, Southwest China. Causing severe losses to local Recent hailstorm events. Yep, that's got pictures of China there. I guess I could pull something up. Okay. I'll start. Giant hailstones batter China's southern province. What did you do? There we go. Wow, look at that windshield. Gracious. I mean, that's the back of the car. Can you imagine that hitting you in the head? I mean, that's... What year is this one? Come on, scroll for me. Heavy storms and giant hailstones have left at least nine people dead and caused serious damage across China's southern province. The extreme weather is expected to last a few more days and could potentially bring more devastation to the area. But that's interesting. Tusk, hell is still empty. A curious case of a man with two brains. Okay. Guess that's possible. You have Siamese twins. So it could have been like it was going to be Siamese twins and the rest of the body didn't develop, I guess. John is fully awake, yes. 
oh yeah, hell's gonna kill some people, the winds are gonna kill people, the lightning is gonna kill more people than ever. The meteors, <laughs> you know, because they don't tell you that a meteor hit a, hit a roof and caused a fire. But there's a lot of that going on too. What in the world is that big truck out there? Hold on, I'll say I'll be right back. I gotta see what that noise is out the window. I don't know, that's strange. It looks like a power truck, but I don't know what they'd be doing in the back alley. There's no power lines in the back alley. That's weird. Anyway, all right, where were we? So no one's gonna call in? Roommates, haha, <laughs> that's cute. Ah, <laughs> uh, I like cute jokes. Yeah, well, we know there's power, there's uh, crazy stuff going on with the electric and the magnetosphere and the uh, human. Um, whatchamacallit, and the solar radiation, UVC, bouncing on the earth, that's why the sky is light blue at night now instead of black like it used to be, that's why they got, they call earth shine, and we got, um, it's funny how they keep coming up with these new names for everything, atmospheric river, all the new cloud names. Oh yeah, the the uh, plasma, the the uh, methane, the helium, everything is off the charts. You know, the UVC is penetrating. Even at night, we're getting UVC radiation. so strong even though the sun's on the other side of the earth right now we're getting the radiations and there's actually this app you can download it's a UVC app of the world and you can look at the uh, UV ratings excuse me it's a UV app not just a UVC but UVA UVB I was, oh, at a reasonable hour. <laughs> um, Sean, that might not be until, well, depends on what you call a reasonable hour. <laughs> maybe sun, maybe Sunday evening, but I, I, I mean, might not be home till 10 o'clock, I don't know. What's a reasonable hour for you, Sean? Judy moves to Canada and lives happily ever after. Only if my daughter and grandkids moved there too, then I'd be totally content. And I could, uh, reach out to people 
Okay, Sean. That'll work, sweetheart. Did you send me the, uh, did you send me the poem to the Facebook? After 4 p.m. UK time before 10. And you're four hours ahead of me, right? So, it probably won't be till next Wednesday before I have that, that time slot available. Probably. Well, maybe. Mm, maybe Monday or Tuesday, because I go in later those two days, maybe. If not, it'll be Wednesday. I think. <laughs> I mean, because right now, that's the day I'm scheduled off, but, you know, things change all the time at my job, so. Not, no, not wrote it. Oh, okay. It's all good, Sean. I know you got to get up and go to work here soon. Yeah, well, Spencer, my daughter loves the wilderness, and she loves mountains, and she loves hunting, and and all of that, but, you know, she's got a husband now, and I don't think he likes all that stuff. He's in the military, so, until he retires, and maybe when he retires, you know, maybe, but... Because you know, his family lives in Ohio. Okay, Sean, that'll work, sweetheart. <laughs> I don't think it makes her fall asleep. It might make her so so comfy that she could fall asleep listening to it. I don't think it, it's a, a voice that makes you fall asleep. But it's a nice voice. So. It brings comfort. Okay, Casey. God bless you. Have a wonderful sleep. Hmm. Oh, Boost Boost disappeared, huh? I he said be right back. You have 10 kids yourself? kids is a good number. I wanted 15. I only had one. I adopted a bunch of kids. So I, adopt, I adopted Sean. Sean's my new son, in case y'all didn't know. Point four million in support.
He didn't have a TV. I must have missed something. Yeah, love is blind. <laughs> Did he learn anything? <laughs> No, he'd probably do it all again. Yes, I did. I adopted Sean. That's my son, so y'all always be kind to him. You don't want me getting riled up. <laughs> Take this cold medicine. <coughs> I sleep tonight. Jane, how's your cold doing? Oh, of course they do. Them t children are blessing. Absolutely. Reminds me of a song. Jesus loves all the children, all the children of the world. Yellow, black, or white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves all the children of the world. No, I can't sing, but anyway. You lost your voice? Yeah, I know. Congestion is not fun. Especially when you're so stopped up you can't breathe. Life is so short. <laughs> I know I can't sing, Sean. <laughs> Why do you think I'm up here talking to y'all instead of out there making me and singing? I love my Jesus songs though, but I don't care. I guess you wouldn't catch me singing nothing else, but it comes to a Jesus song, I don't care. I even made my own Jesus song when I was singing to the uh, goose that day when he started dancing and running up to me. The one that, that video's on my channel. Well, that's true, Sean. <laughs> they can't. They uh, have lots of, well, a few can, but they have lots of, lots of uh, equipment to help them sound good. Party be like me. <laughs> Is that a song? My grandson turns three today. My granddaughter turned 16 January 5th. And my youngest granddaughter will be a year old in end of June. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't heard of the journey. Um, we get K-Love and uh, um, it's only well, there's a couple gospel channels that I listen to, but uh, here lately I've been so rushed that when I'm driving to work, I'm usually talking on the phone or whatever, trying to do whatever I got to do before I get there. But um, K-Love's a good one. And then 
I like, uh, there's some AM stations, but they come in so poorly, they play some good old, uh, gospel music, but they don't come in very well. Journeys out of Lynchburg. Oh, well, I guess my, my, uh, brothers and sisters and cousins and nephews and nieces and half-brothers and half-sisters and sisters that are cousins and brothers that are also cousins. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, they listen to it, well, the ones that are Christians. One of my, uh, my brothers? One of my, no, I think it's one of my brothers that I've never met, I haven't met yet. Um, preaches somewhere in Lynchburg. I'll have to check it out. I'm sure I can pull it. I'm sure I can uh, listen to it through the internet or through uh, Pandora or one of those uh, uh, internet radio stations. Well, like a mixture of gospel, you know, like Randy Travis singing Dr. Jesus and um, uh, Pamela Mann singing Take, it, uh, Take Me to the King and um, I love the saxophone worship, and oh, there's so many good Christian songs. So you've met, I guess John's met Journey. Boost Boost is okay. Hey, nothing in a minute. Oh, Canada had a, a 4.0 earthquake. Somewhere in Canada. So did we get hit with another CME today? Does anybody know? Thing there. Search. DME. Bless. The clouds were really crazy again today. It looked like the, the dome again. DME. No, that's not what I want. Nope, don't want to know about Bitcoin. Okay, apparently CME is also call letters for abbreviation. Kind of golfing. That's not what we wanted to do. Thank you. 
Take me back to Google. BBC. The only thing I like about I can I can't right click mouse on this one and come here and refresh it. Go back to Google, so then you gotta like totally remove the browser and then put the browser back in. Won't refresh on it. So Sean is taking my poem and writing his uh, English version. And then he's going to read it with his accent. All right, Spence, thank you for joining us tonight and for your phone call and for letting us pray for you and I pray that uh, you have a, a nice awakening dream this evening Naughty Beaver has laid it all out there John Moore talks about it what are y'all talking about We love you. God bless you. And uh, hopefully next time I'm on, you uh, have your voice back so we can hear your lovely voice. Because it reminds me of listening to my sister when I hear you. Tunnels across America. Underground cities. Yeah. Uh, we love you, girl. God bless you. Sweet dreams. We didn't see Char tonight. I wonder if she's okay. We didn't see Lulu either. 
I guess it's still early for Lulu. Early in the day. Well, it's 5 o'clock there. 5 p.m. Well, almost 6 p.m. Lulu is getting some sleep. Oh yeah, because they had the uh, storm come through. It's hard to sleep when a storm like that's coming through. Well, especially if you're in a building that you're a little worried about, which is any building with windows. <laughs> Fucking dog. Oh, hog in the bed. <laughs> oh. You know you love that dog. I used to have a California king size bed. And my dog. Actually, no, my dog didn't hog it. My daughter did. When she was six and seven years old. Good gracious. She would turn and twist and and tort and everything else and the dog would start out in the middle and the dog would end up going to the end of the bed because my daughter was rough man she kicking me in my ribs all night long oh Shara's getting sleep okay <laughs> He's growling at you, don't want to let you back in the bed. Oh, let's see, there's a pop up from Rose. I guess uh, it was a 5.2 Mid Atlantic Ridge USGS. I thought it would go back to Google. Why is it? That didn't work. <laughs> That's the only bad thing about putting the browser in versus if you look up something on the internet itself. Got to be enough to do it. Proper growling, You're not happy, doesn't want to move. Oh. What is proper growling? I didn't know you could growl properly. <laughs> I heard his dog the other day on the phone. He's biting. No, oh, no, no, no. I'm biting. Tell him stop biting my son. No cookies for him. The dog bones, right?
Yeah, me. Earth facing. Earth facing. It said... They claim the chance of Earth being hit by a Carrington class storm between 2012 and two, uh, 2022 is 12%. <laughs> I like to know how they figure that. Some scientists think they know so much. They've been so wrong. God has proven that they don't, don't know as much as they think they do. Big teeth and a bad temper. <laughs> Welcome back, Casey. You couldn't sleep, huh? Everything reminded me of a song to me. Now you remind me of the song Sweet Dreams. Love is in there. <laughs> yeah, there's another song. She might have been sleeping.
like, I guess I'm too tired. I'm not even uh, keeping up the conversation. That's when you know I'm tired when I things to say. And I actually have a million things to talk about. But when I be thinking of them all day when I'm at work too. And then by the time I get here and do a couple of hours, I can't remember any of the things I was going to talk about. Earth catastrophe cycle. I really do suggest, though, uh, that everybody listen to Chuck Fizzler on how we got the Bible. And, uh, it's a long session. You might want to break it up. And listen. When he gets into the numbers that the Harvard graduate did. So the Harvard graduate. This million dollar. Uh, uh, PA or something. I forgot. And once he uh, was messing with the Bible and realized Oh, John, God bless you and Diana and your grandson. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for calling. Sorry, um, this version of Skype doesn't. I have to I figure it out when I have time. There's got to be a way to do to um, answer two calls because you can do it on the other version of Skype, but it just bogs the computer down so bad. As a delay when I try to answer it and it kind of breaks up the call so this version works better I just got to figure out how to add two people before have a night of the round table session one night once I can figure that out Yeah, I, I feel it, Sean. <laughs> Me too. Definitely. Get a chance. Oh, I, I probably won't tonight. I already have to watch. Um, we'll, we'll work on it later. It's nothing. All right. So what was I? What was I saying? I had a train of thought. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to draw a, uh, make an animation that they, uh, starting line, so I was thinking about, um, you know, look at, got all these sports activities, starting line, and, you know, people starting on the starting line, and not Christian, and then, I, I gotta come up with the concept first, and do the animation like they start on the starting line, you know, the finish line, the Christ, go on forever and ever and ever, but the ones that, anyway, it's an abstract idea right now, but I gotta work, gotta work on it. Well, I appreciate that, AC. Hey, 
Oh yes, we always got to pray up for everybody. Absolutely. And let's hope that our uh, prayers uh, touch on Spencer. Because he's a good guy. And we would enjoy him in heaven. I hope so. Um, you know, I haven't worked on advertising it yet, obviously, because I'm still kind of, you know, teaching myself the stuff that I want to be able to do. Of course, I haven't had time either, and then I never know when you know, exactly when I'm going to be home. So uh, I want to get some consist consistency going, <laughs> and uh, then I'll, I'll design something for it and try to. Uh, set up the program uh, ahead of time with certain videos or, or pictures or whatever that we're going to discuss that evening or can discuss that evening and then we'll have uh, some nights we'll have uh, you know, certain topics we'll pick and then that I mean that'll be seldom probably like that where it's design specific topics because it all all of it relates back to God anyway no matter what topic people pick, we can always find a way to relate it back to scripture. I used to wake up every 10 minutes on the nose, every single 10 minutes. It drive me crazy. I still don't sleep good. I sleep, probably the first time I fall asleep, I fall asleep for about 10 minutes. I wake up kind of like wide awake and it takes me about 20 minutes to go back to sleep. And then I might sleep like an hour. Go. Sleep about 30 minutes. Go. I don't get any REM sleep until it's time for me to wake up. If you don't go through all three uh, cycles of your sleep, and if you don't get to the dream stage, you wake up tired. I don't know about angels. Yeah, every time. <laughs> it was brutal. That's why when the uh, when the George, <clears throat> the first George called in. And he was talking about he couldn't sleep. I totally relate to that. It's so it's so bad too when it's three, four, can't sleep, and you know that you got to get up and go to work in a couple of hours. And it's so frustrating when you're so tired. All you want to do is sleep, and you can't. there's no one to talk to. There, you know, you don't want to wake people up, and it's. <clears throat> it's really frustrating.
Yeah, except I can't, I can't drag at my job, so. I mean, that's a good, no, I'm better, I'm better, when I'm tired, I'm better if I'm busy. I'd be dragging if it was slow. I gotta stay busy when I'm tired. Yeah. The more stressed, the better then, because you know, that'll keep me awake and I won't be able to think about how tired I am. Love you too, girl. And God love you. I guess I'll try to get some. My day will be busier at work. We got some games tonight. But I need to look at the schedule. The calendar for Friday. Is it? Yeah, we got it. We got games tomorrow night. I definitely won't be out of there before 10. I Not sure what time I got to work Saturday morning. Sunday's a busy day. Busy long day. <laughs> oh, boost, boost. Jersey governor signs tax bill. Based on the West. Wow. And what is most corrupt? Residents of New Jersey will now be taxed and out of control. Well, you know why? Because insurance companies are going broke with all the catastrophes that are happening. And <laughs> uh, it's, and all that's just an indication of what's coming. They all know that really seriously bad things are coming that's going to affect a lot of people, cause a lot of devastation. So, that's why they're doing it. You know what, Boost, so think about it like this. None of that shortly is going to matter. Because nobody's going to get any money. There isn't going to be any money. <laughs> and we're going to be in the... Uh, system it's getting crazy it's just it gets crazier by the hour always some news like that government drastic decision caring how it affects that's the only ones that are okay when they do stuff like that is the rich I don't know um, boost I don't know that they're gonna force the chip on people I mean maybe after uh, Antichrist makes his debut it might. I know I'm not taking the chip if that's. But you know, I was thinking, Boost, there's something I want you to do for me. Get a chance. I had looked it up a few years ago on the mark and what the mark means in Greek and Hebrew and Arabic, and it's um. It also, besides a mark like a tattoo or whatever, it also means reputation like once a person is labeled a certain thing that's called a mark too 
back in the day. So, you know, we might be on the uh, wrong track with the mark. But what are your thoughts on that? Yes, Sean, get some sleep. Son, that's an order. God bless you. Love you. Yeah, in the hands of the forehead. But you know, we may have already taken the mark and not even thought about it. In the hands and the forehead. That was the first time I've been called mum my entire life. It's so cute. How do we say son? Son, son? So in other words, taking the mark, let's say if it, it, it could also, it meant also reputation back then. So if, um, you know, you've heard the saying that they're a marked man or a marked woman or whatever, but um, if it meant reputation, then wouldn't it be that anybody that is um, focused on um, worldly things, so that would be the forehead, where their, their brain, where they're focusing, uh, you know, so they're greedy or whatever, so that, that's their reputation, that's their mark, and then the hand is the thing always taking the money, taking, 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 maybe the mark is, um, symbolic, You think it's something physical? Yeah, it probably is. I'm just throwing some what-ifs out there. It's Sean, not Sean. <laughs> Yeah, true booze. No, I didn't see pet goat. Oh, shun, not son. Oh. Oh, it's shun. Well, that's my shun. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. Sometime tomorrow, please. That good. Yeah, I will. Excuse me. Whose prophecy was it? I think John said he was going to sleep.
Yeah. So let me ask you this: What do you think about this song? I, I'm probably I probably know your answer boost on this one. The uh, fireman that uh, everybody thinks is his prophet now because he said uh, Trump was going to be president. Yeah, John is very laid back, very calm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it was a, uh, it was a chance anyway. You know. It, um, I remember saying that didn't. Now he's his prophet, supposed to be prophet, and making all this money, and people are believing anything he says now because he guessed that Trump was going to be. You know, anybody that has made a career out of saying I should be president every time he was interviewed you know, throughout his life. He would make uh, comments about if he was president, and uh, and then when he was running, you know, <laughs> during the election there were so many chances, and you weigh the odds. The only two that had a possibility of making it was him and Hillary, so it was a 50/50 chance. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Really, the uh, electoral vote. Yeah, I do. I actually, I used to, uh, I used to date this guy that was a uh, movie producer, and he did documentaries, whatnot. Well, he lived in D.C., and we went to a few political parties and yeah it's all about um who you uh who's who's you know hand you put money in how your votes go but there are some good there are some good Christians in politics. They just don't get the power that they need to do stuff. So, but I think part of the problem is is that most Christians don't don't pray for the politician. Oh, uh, there's John. Yeah, of course they do. They know who's next. And the one after that, if the you know if the world's still here, yeah, it's all set up already. You're curious about what, Kate? President's gonna be. Yep, true that boost. But you know, for their agenda to be fulfilled, um, they're also fulfilling scripture, so it all has to happen. Just like when Jesus was here, he was like, nope, not time for that to be fulfilled yet. And yes, this has got to happen now because this has got to be fulfilled. And I guess, I don't know, when God set up the world and made the rules and 
No. He's got to stick by him. Remember Bush Seniors on live TV that the New World Order is going to be successful. Yes, I do recall that. We're headed for it. All, all coming into play at the same time. Satan is uh, showing his works, and God is showing his. We're seeing it in the heavens, the stars, the sun, the ocean, everything. Um, I don't know that all political figures are good. I would say the majority, but I, I would dare to venture that some Christians actually run and make it in and think they can make a difference and, you know, they get hushed. what I would uh, I can't personally speak on it because uh, I don't know any of them personally so. yeah exactly yeah I agree with that I guess they think if they can take that 1% and do something or, you know, I don't know. Maybe they think God will work out something if they stay in there. Agree to things that they shouldn't agree to. I don't know. Or that, you know, Satan wins them over with greed and power. seen a few stand up but they ended up leaving and then speaking out <laughs> look how much we have changed the creation not anymore just look yeah I know yeah all the laws about about or against Christianity. Uh, I don't know, Casey. You know, he put on he put on a show, but you know, having those preachers come to the White House and pray and whatnot. But um, I was looking at the preacher list. And, oh, <laughs> I'm not so sure. I don't know, I had a really bad feeling about Trump at first, you know, especially because he made all those racist, sexist comments before he got into office, and then some after he got into office. But, you know, uh, it seems like he's changing, and, you know, God can work a miracle in anybody. Right boost. If Trump really wanted to change, then he'd bring uh, the Bible back to the courthouse. He'd bring the Bible back to school. He'd bring, you know, prayer time back to school. He'd bring, you know what I mean? He wouldn't go for all these laws that are banning Christianity, but giving um, uh, all these other satanic type behaviors, protective laws. And I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm perturbed about the, uh, 
this no gender thing is it's baloney you're either a man or you're a woman you're a he or you're a she and if you're you know confused or if you you know you feel like you're you're the opposite of what you were born okay i can't judge you on that but you know just like transgender i can't i can't judge those people either but don't say you're a woman if you weren't born a woman you're not a woman you're you're a transgender be proud of it that's what you chose be proud of it don't be sneaking and tricking people and you know that was your decision be proud of it if you can't stand up to it then you know something's wrong with it if you can't wear it on your sleeve so that's just the way I see it I don't have you know like I said I can't judge other people for why they you know feel the way they feel and do what they do and and you know, and, and I don't want to. Um, well, they've turned it against, yeah, they've turned it against God. They've made it so, and they purposely have made it so blatantly um, demonic. Which, you know, as Christians, we're supposed to teach everybody that they can come to God. No matter what, they can come to God. God can transform them. They want to transform. They can, God can transform their mind back to where it, where it was meant to be. Right, boost, boost. I agree. Just like, yeah, anybody that pretends to be somebody they're not is breaking God's heart. And deceiving other people. Exactly. You know, some people think there's uh, no consequence to deceiving people, but there's always a consequence. Oh yeah, God's house is full of deceit. He's got to be angry about that. I won't allow what to. The deceit that's going on in churches. Well, just because they call themselves a church, too, too, doesn't mean it's God's house. It's their house, and they...
John 15. If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. It is. Do not, Lord. I have chosen you out of the world. That's why the world is. Still, the numbers will be low going up. I mean, I know it looks like it right now. The numbers will be low. Low. But, um, remember, he's going to pour out his spirit in the end days. So, I think uh, more people are turn to him. I know that a lot haven't yet, but I think that it's going to happen here. I think he's pouring out here. Yep. I don't like deception of any kind because none of it's innocent. Especially when somebody's supposed to be a Christian and they deceive people. Because then that may make someone that's watching, because we represent Christ. So even if we make mistakes, we need to be straightforward with it because people are looking at us and they've already seen so so many confusing churches and uh, rewritten Bibles and, and you know all the excuses they have so when we as Christians disappoint them then then it's on our heads if if we lose a soul to God because we did something wrong on purpose to deceive someone That's just my opinion. Just like if we can win souls for God, we can lose souls for God. If we have, if we're able to win them, then we're also able to cause them not to be won because of something we did or didn't do. Um, that's just my opinion. Yeah, you can call right quick. Go to bed. Right, he doesn't want lukewarm, exactly. Good morning, darling. Hello? Hey, sweetie. Hey. Hey, you know what, you're dead on about that uh, whole deception thing because the biggest thing is that I don't know an awful lot about history, but I, I am educated with some, just like.